my lords, we and my ladies, we emphasize two aspects. In the last paragraph, I therefore find that the SRC acted within its constitutional mandate. We emphasize the constitutional mandate, which has been set out in the previous sentences, as the mandate of setting and regulating. And then the last sentence, two lines, and they are subject to the mandate of the SRC in relation, in relation to the review of their salary. So that the court, this is a high court decision, makes the holding that the SRC is mandated by the Constitution. My Lord, my ladies, we submit that what that does is similarly here in this case that the Teachers Service Commission, the union applicants, and all public officers are subject to the SRC's mandate. The TSC, which is subject to the SRC mandate, is thus mandatorily obliged to follow the SRC in realizing the SRC's mandate. It is not optional to the SRC to say we will advise one commission but we will not advise the TSC or another commission. There is no option. The TSC is also mandatorily obliged to play the prescribed part, to play its prescribed part to achieve the SRC and Constitution's objects.